Jeff again here with Three Feet Cycling, wanting to talk a little bit more about our unbound gravel sag support. We've had quite a few questions come in. I thought I'd just go ahead and try to answer a few of those and also just touch base on some other need to know pieces as we get close to race day. We're just under two weeks out. Yes, it's been raining here in Kansas. Don't worry, the weather's gonna change five times between now and Friday. So keep your mind open, go with the flow, and let's get you prepared for a great race day. First off, uh, we talked about in our rider's guide, the tags for red, green, and yellow tags, depending on your checkpoint and your distance. Don't worry about getting those. We'll have those for you at check-in and be able to put your name and bib number on those. Seeing as how we're talking about mud and it's been ra raining here in Kansas, there may be some things you wanna take with you to be able to scrape that mud off your bike, clean up uh, your drivetrain a little bit and be able to roll a little bit. So uh, everybody's heard about the paint sticks. You know, we use those on our home improvement projects. Didn't know they'll come in handy, but on race day, they may come in handy. Bring a paint stick with you. I also sometimes will bring just a spatula, nice $1 item at the dollar store. It's rubber though, easy to uh, move things off, has a small end to get into those smaller areas. But I'd suggest bringing something like this for you if you, it is gonna be muddy or a chance of mud. Another thing that also has come in handy is a toothbrush. Uh, <clears throat> sometimes it's nice to be able to clean out those rear derailleurs or pulleys uh, clean up that chain a little bit using that toothbrush. Also gets into those small areas and gets rid of that mud around the front derailleur. So a couple of things there that may help you out as you get into that muddy, in case it is muddy. Um, <clears throat> it is going to be dry out there, hopefully. If it is muddy, this will be the case too. There are some water crossings. So depending on how much rain we've had, it will depend on how deep it is and whether or not you walk across or you ride it. Always want to be safe, but it's your choice on that. But understand your chain may get a little squeaky throughout the day. So one thing that I always suggest is taking some extra chain lube with you um, out there on course so that if it is getting bad, you can re-lube a little bit at one of the, maybe at the water stop there after checkpoint one or anywhere in between. Uh, we will have some sample packs provided by WD-40 Bike that you can carry with you, or if you have your own, put it in your saddlebag, and that may make that ride a little bit quieter for you and that chain a little less rough. Another question that came in was, what food will we be supplying? Um, we've got a few different things for you, so that hopefully it will help out. It's all gonna be real food. Um, that race day nutrition, you've got dialed in by now, hopefully you know what works for you, what products work for you, what brands. We're not gonna mess with that, but we are gonna provide some real food for you. So we'll have some mixed nuts. We'll have some potato chips. You gotta have that salt to uh, get back in you. Sometimes you're looking for something sweet, change it up a little bit. So we'll have some sweets. We'll also have Coke. Um, if you're looking for a, something, to, a little bit more substance to eat, we will have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches available to make. Uh, <clears throat> we will also have pickle juice. Uh, some people like that if they're starting to cramp or anything like that. So we will have that on site. And then for those of you that may have been eating a lot of sugars throughout the day, that stomach's turned on you, um, to help out with that, we'll have broth there. That usually helps turn that stomach back around so that you can continue to eat and finish on with your day. <clears throat> some additional things that um, have come up around ice. Yes, we will have ice for your water bottles and your hydration packs. When you come into Checkpoint, if you have bottles or extra hydration packs in your bag, or if you want us just to refill what you have, we will do that. We're gonna use those pitchers, so no worrying about speed. I know we said no fluids uh, in bags. We really need to keep to that because we don't want it spilling over everyone else's items. So we can fill very quickly out of pitchers to fill up that hydration pack, to fill up your water bottles and keep you going. We have plenty of volunteers and plenty of pitchers at every checkpoint to help out with that. Um, that ice will also be used for ice socks if it is a hot day, and we will have cold iced towels um, there to help you cool down at checkpoint. When you come into checkpoint, a couple of things to keep in mind. When you come in, 
communicate with us. Let us know if you need any adjustments on your bike. Let us know if you need any uh, <clears throat> just lube, if you just need it wiped down. You know, if it is muddy, we will have our power washers on site at both the 100 and the 200 uh, checkpoints. So we're self-contained and ready to go on that and can help out. But if it's other than that, if you need something minor, let us know. Small adjustments to the derailleur, anything like that for shifting. It's going to get messed up throughout the day as it's a long day out there. So just let us know what you need. Same when you come in after that. You're gonna, we're gonna get you your bag. Let us know what we can do to help you out. We want to make this as um, painless as possible in Checkpoint, and we wanna be there to help you out. So just communicate with us. Let us know what you need, um, how you're feeling. We'll keep an eye on things. Most of us have done these long gravel events, and so we kinda know where you're at throughout the day, but we can uh, gladly help out with whatever you need. Just so you know that our mechanics will be on site using WD-40 bike products for lube and everything like that. So um, if you see the WD-40 guys out there at Unbound, please say hello and thank them. And uh, test out their products if you haven't used them before. Some great products. Uh, at checkpoints, we will also have sample packs of chamois butter so that you can get refreshed and um, enjoy the rest of your day in the saddle. Um, so, Shammy Butter will be out there. Say thanks to those guys, but don't forget to go see their Gravel City Adventure and Supply Company or High Gear Cyclery uh, there in Emporia, and they can help you out with tubes, CO2, etc. Uh, just always want to remind people, support the local um, businesses there. This is a great big weekend for them, and they're there supporting everyone. So. If you need anything, talk to either one of those two. Uh, 200 riders, don't forget your lights. If you don't want to carry them on the bike the whole time, put them in bag number two. We'll have them for you there at that second checkpoint. But at night, you will have to have lights on your bike. So uh, <clears throat> don't forget that. Couple important things. One, if you haven't already read the athlete's guide that Unbound puts out, Please make sure that you read that, understand the, check out, the checkpoint cutoff times. Uh, those are gonna be some important things to know. Uh, they've got a list of things to carry if you're kind of wondering what else I should carry on the bike with me. Take a look at that. Um, also, if you haven't already read it, read our rider's guide. That's gonna tell you exactly what's going on with three feet cycling sag support. It also is gonna tell you where we're gonna be located at each checkpoint. Uh, we have the map there. We're going to be in the blue section at each point. Um, <clears throat> so look at that. Know where we're at. We're going to be on course, so you have to drive ride by us as you're going through checkpoints. Uh, we don't take you off the course to make it as simple as possible and easy to get in and out um, for speed. Friday, bag check-in is noon to 6 p.m at the Farmer's Market parking lot behind Mulready's Pub. Uh, look for our team trailer and our flags, and we'll probably have a tent up. Uh, come in, bring your bag, we'll check everything in, answer any questions you have, and get you all ready for the next day to have a great day on the bike. Uh, bag pickup will be on Sunday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, same location, Farmer's Market parking lot behind Mulready's Pub, and we'll get you taken care of, get everything back to you. If for some reason you're not able to make it then, or you have to fly on early, not a problem, we'll get you taken care of. Just shoot me an email, give me a call, and we can get that shipped back to you for a small shipping and handling fee. It's all listed on our writer's guide. But you have to let me know by Friday, June 11th, because on Saturday, Anything left in there will be donated to the local Kansas NICA program. Um, so if there's tubes, tires, anything like that, we're gonna donate that to our Kansas NICA program. Um, so if you wanna look at it as a donation, not a problem. Otherwise, I can ship it back to you without any issues. Uh, now, back to the checkpoints. Uh, on the 100, we will be in Council Grove in the blue section, as I said, as you come through, you're gonna see tennis courts on your left and straight ahead before you have to make a sharp right turn, 
you'll see crew for hire. On that left side in that tennis court, you will see our flags and our tents set up. We usually have people out, everyone on the team um, volunteering will have three feet cycling t-shirts on to help identify and we try to put up some other signage so that you can see us coming in but you'll have to pass us if you take a hard right you've already passed us and we'll grab you but by the crew for hire in the blue section look on the map that you'll see uh, on the screen it shows you exactly where we are now for the 200 riders um, again we will be in the blue section in Alma and so when you come down we're going to be on the right hand side of the street it's going to be on a corner so be looking for us again that map is going to be up so you can see where we're at uh, be looking for our tent and our flags uh, that should give us give you good indication where we're at again all volunteers will have three feet shirts on you will see us in those on Friday so if you have questions let us know you're going to see this logo right here on all of our shirts. Just look for that and that will help you out. Then at checkpoint two for you 200 riders, it's going to be the same exact location as the 100 riders have for that checkpoint. We'll have folks set up there still, everything ready to go. Your bags will be there. Uh, we will not take bags from checkpoint one to checkpoint two. Do not count on that. You need to have two separate bags on that check on the 200 group. So hopefully that helps out in answering some questions you have. Uh, if you have any others, please feel free to let me know, shoot me an email, give me a shout, um, whatever, and be glad to answer those for you. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in Gravel City in Emporia uh, on Friday. Uh, we'll get everything taken care of, have a great race day, you're on taper time, so enjoy the ride. You've put in the hard work. It's gonna pay off on race day. So again, looking forward to seeing the Gravel family and we'll talk to you all soon. Thank you.